What's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video. Uh, this, I'm not gonna say this video is gonna be funny, but just think about it. I'm in my 40s. Um, NBA players in their 40s, who were the best? First of all, I wasn't in the NBA. I'm just saying I'm in my 40s too. It's just kind of ironic. To my NBA player that was in their 40s, and I'm in my 40s too. I'm 42. Um, I still got a lot of basketball left for me, but not at a high level. I'm out of shape. Anyway, it's not about me. It's not about. It's not about. It's all. It's all about the NBA players in their forties. So let's get to the video. He still had great footwork, and he actually gave me about thirty points. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old NBA fan like I am, Shout make out sure you check Davis. out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Why is it loud? Hey, folks. How's it going? Welcome back to the basketball time up, machine, Sean? and welcome back to your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk about NBA players that played in the NBA in their 40s. And I want to give you my personal list of the best players that reached 40s in the NBA. But before we dive into that, I want to ask you guys for a small favor. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it before. And also How like the video be? if you enjoy the content. All right, enough okay. said. Let's go. And the first player that I have on my list is going Carmelo. to be John Stockton. Oh, Stockton sorry. to me is the best point guard of all time, of course, with Magic he was Johnson. 40 when he played? But if you take into consideration what I he was still able to do at age 40, we can see what a smart player he was. Still running the offense of the Utah Jazz like he was in his early 30s and still being one of the best point guards in the entire NBA. Think about now, the this. crazy thing Amazing. is, he even if he received the same amount of 40. minutes like he did in his prime, he almost would have averaged the same stats. He was just that good and therefore deserves to be on this list. John Stockton needs one assist to break the record that he's now tied with Magic Johnson. So he's still averaging 11 and 8. Stockton with a ball front court left. He looks to Carl Malone. He's got him low. The mailman jumps it. Shot up. It's in. He did it. He did it. A new NBA assist king of the NBA. First of all, John Stockton is the perfect point guard. Watching his career in the NBA, there's never been a guy, a point guard, a pure point guard. A pure point guard. Who made better basketball decisions with the ball, ever. He had the perfect balance of taking shots and passing the basketball. He really did. I never thought of him as a pass first point guard. I thought of him as a guy who was taking the best opportunity every time. And the next player on my list is going to be Manu Ginobili. Oh, yeah. Again, Ginobili. the player with an exceptional high basketball IQ. Still coming off the bench for the San Antonio Spurs, Manu would be fired once he stepped on the basketball court. Instant offense and still a deadly weapon. Hey. Manu was like a Swiss army knife. He just had so many weapons in his arsenal, even at age 40. When he retired, the San Antonio Spurs not only lost the legend, but also probably the best six man of his era. And the next player on my list is a very easy one, the captain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. To many NBA fans, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the best player of all time. Hey. And even though I got Michael Jordan on that spot, I can't understand where they're coming from. With the deadliest weapon ever on the basketball court, the Skyhook, Kareem was able to be productive even at age 40. Stupid, and even though he was not as quick on his feet at that point, he could still dominate the post and be a threat to any he NBA team. The court. He did continue to play for another season before he ended his career at age 41, still averaging 10 points per game. Okay, 41. It can wear you out down the stretch. Kareem. And next to have Dirk Nowitzki on my list. Dirk. Now, just like Kareem, Dirk had this unstoppable weapon, his one-legged fadeaway. But not only that, Dirk was also a fantastic shooter from anywhere on the court. At age 40, Dirk was battling his many issues with his body and lost a lot of his mobility. But still, yeah, he, he was able to like score against any defender, something move, that he was known like for throughout man. his entire NBA career. Like an animal, no Another thing that made Dirk so valuable was the it stuff was. that he did in the locker room. Passing the torch to Luka Doncic and helping all the young guys to adapt to the NBA. Something that we should not underestimate and overlook. 
Turn around jumper. Gotcha is right. A lot of MFF bells. The Mavericks front office staff is did it for Dirk tonight. Well, he got a small on him. We've seen him take advantage of little mouse. Mm. Okay, Dirk catch and shoot. Yeah. Yes, Nothing better. Nothing better than to see that happen. Next, let's take a look at Air Vince Canada, Carter. Vince Carter. With him, I gotta be honest, I was very surprised that he was able to be productive up until his early 40s. In his younger days, he relied heavily on his athleticism, which is why I thought he would be done in his early 30s. But Vince proved me wrong and turned into oh. a shooter, which made him even more valuable in his later years. He played for many teams, but always proved to be a valuable asset for every single club he played for. He retired at the young age of 43. Guys, hang around. Damn, three, three. This is the next two minutes, man. You really got to make a difference here. Hey. He was still getting a 43. Here's Carter. Vince Carter. You see, <laughs> you see how he was moving? Here's Ugh. Carter. Three point attempt for the Heat. That's right. have 16 triples in this game. Loose ball. Lynn gets it. Missed it. Hey. Hammered back in. Thank you very much, Mark. Dirk, Vince, you guys are one and two on the old men of the NBA list. Why are you guys still hanging around? Well, uh, I still love the game. I love to compete. Uh, like, we started from back in many, many years ago, and, and I think that's what we're taught. You just see guys. That's why I still play. I still had a love of basketball. A lot of people probably saying, you need to quit, you need to retire, but when you start playing, blah, 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 you can old. No, it don't matter. I know a guy that was in his 70s still playing basketball, man. Come on. Play the game for the love of, not for the money. It's not for the money. I mean, we've uh, made a lot of money in our time, but we can still compete in this level. We get the opportunity to do it. Why not? Hey. Next on my list, I have the mailman, Carl Malone. If this list would be a ranking, Carl probably would be my number two guy. After playing almost 20 years for the Utah Jazz, where he averaged 20 plus points almost every single season, he decided to go for a championship one more time. And he signed with the Los Angeles Lakers, where he would play alongside Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, and Gary Payton. Unfortunately, that season would be a disaster because of many reasons. But one thing was for sure, Carl was still hooping. At this age, he was still one of the best power forwards in the entire NBA and showed what a great player he really was, especially in the 2004 playoffs where he was the best player on the Lakers team. After a serious knee injury, Carl decided to retire at the age of 40. But just to give you a glimpse at how good Carl Malone was in the playoffs, let's take a look. Malone quickly. Number 13 for 2, 8 for 7 rebound at 84. It's going to get wide open shots this entire afternoon. Baskets and they have to score in transition. Can't just win it on defense totally. Of course, Van Gundy, the, the defensive guru, as Malone puts it in again. So, Carl Malone miss, right now shot, has a total of six points. He has six of the ten, and we're tied at ten. Jackson falling down. It creates the steal opportunity. The car run the floor. Look at car run the floor. Each playing for a lot less than they could any place else. Coming to win a ring. Hooked up for that basket. And the next and last player on my list is going to be Michael course, Air Michael Jordan. Jordan. And again, if this video was a ranking, Jordan would be my number one guy. Not only because he's my main man, but also because he's the only guy who would average 20 plus points at age 40. That's when he crazy. came back to play for the Washington Wizards, he did not play for three entire seasons, and still MJ was one of the best players in the entire league. And this again is something where you can see that yeah, Jordan's basketball IQ was incredible. His fundamentals were incredible. He was competitive like no other player. This dude was just special. He dropped 51 points against the Hornets. Wow, he became the four. oldest player in NBA history to score at least 40 points in a game. He hit a game winner to beat the Knicks in Madison Square Garden. I'm not talking about MJ in Chicago. MJ I'm talking Washington. about MJ in Washington. Because you kids just don't know how good Michael Jordan was with the Wizards. Once the cigar comes out, it's like he's already lighting the victory cigar before the competition. I had a chance to play against Michael Jordan, but it was when he had the Wizards uniform on, so it wasn't quite prime Michael Jordan, it was 40-year-old Michael Jordan. Hmm. Oh, good pass. 
I remember he still was a phenomenal athlete. He still had great footwork, and he actually gave me about 30 points. Jordan over Pierce. He's got it. Michael Jordan has equaled his season's high 31. With <laughs> That's crazy, though. Dang, there's Michael Jordan. He's still probably one of the top 10 athletes in the game at the time. Yeah, he trash talked a little bit. You know, I remember him hitting a fadeaway, telling me you can't get to that. Pierce, defending Jordan. Fall away, he hits. 29 That's for crazy. 20. You know, he, re he really had a rivalry with Antoine Walker being. You know, Antoine Walker was in Chicago, and, you know, these guys played against each other in pickup games in the summer. And, you know, him and Antoine Walker really uh, went at each other quite a bit. Antoine, you know, he, he's one of the best trash talkers that ever played the game, but... I think that game, he wish he had just not said anything. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hate when I pause it and have Sean Day having a crazy look on his face. But um, that, that was a good video. Uh, Vince Carter at age 43 was still hooping. Was still dunking. I can't even dunk. I'm 42. Damn. <sighs> well, I can dunk in nine foot, but... Well, I don't know. I know they're doing eight and, eight and a half foot. Nine and ten. Probably no go for me. I'll try it, though. If I try, I'll put on a video so um, so you guys can witness me dunking. Not like I used to, but at least showing that I can still, maybe can still dunk a little bit. But, um, yeah, this NBA players in their 40s who were the best. Who were... Never mind. I mean, who who was the best? Now, who were the best? Who I I don't know. I'm tripping. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and um, yeah, come back for more video. Let me know. You guys are not telling me. Let me know who you guys want me to react to. Uh, let me know so I can get it out to you guys. Hit me out. Yeah.